Hey everybody, I'm Ted from Tabex. The Sign Artist plugin is a great plugin to add to your packages. Let's dive in and see what we can do. In this tutorial, we're going to set up Sign Artist, which is a plugin for Rust that allows you to add pictures to signs in game. We are going through the configuration file. We're going to look at the different permissions that you can use. And we're going to set up the Discord webhook. You got all the information you need here to address the player and also to remove or change the sign. Before we dive in, inside of my Oxide plugins folder, of course, I have Tabex Donate, but I also have the permissions manager. You can get this from codefling.com and this will allow us to edit permissions for groups and players a lot easier and quicker. So let's first dive into the configuration file, set everything up how we want to, and then we don't have to mess with that again. Inside of the Oxide folder, I'm going to go to config and then open up the sign artist JSON file. So the first few options are all about managing how much data the sign artist plugin will use. So things like time between downloads, maximum downloads, distance from sign, maximum file size, and also the quality of the picture. Especially if you're having a very active server, you might want to lower these numbers. Yes, it might take a little bit longer for signs to load in and the quality might not be as good, but the performance of the server will be a lot better. Next, we have some logging options. Enable logging file. I'm going to leave this disabled and I'm also going to leave the logging in console disabled to keep the console clean. I did enable the Discord logging and then we need to fill in our Discord webhook. I created a admin category that only I can see. Inside of that category, I created a text channel called Sign Artist. To create a webhook, we're going to go to the server settings and then under integrations, it says webhooks. We can then create a webhook. So I'm going to call this Signs and I'm going to select the Sign Artist channel. Then I'm just going to simply copy the webhook URL and save my changes. Let's go back to our config file and then under Discord webhook, let's paste this in between the quotes. We can change the avatar if we want to. I'm going to leave this default. We can also change the Discord username that is being used, but for me, Sign Artist is fine. So I'm going to save. Inside of the game, I'm going to press F1. I'm going to say O.reload for oxide.reload because I want to reload the Sign Artist plugin and make sure that it loads the new config file. So I'm going to say Sign Artist with capital S, capital A that should reload the plugin. So now we need to give ourselves permission to use the sign artist. So I'm going to say slash perms in chat, and this will open up the permissions manager. And I can either do it directly to me, but in this case, I'm just going to add it to the admin group, go into sign artist, and then we can grant permissions or revoke permissions. To see what all of these permissions do, we can just simply look at the plugin page. First, we have the sign artist URL. And if we look down here, it says download the image from the URL to the server and display it on the sign you're currently looking at. This is the main command. We also have the option to directly put some text on a sign and this will automatically generate a image with the given text and optionally the font size, color, background color, etc. And it will then put that image that it generated on the sign. And I would only give these two to players because the other ones are more for admins. So we can see sale restore. This restores an image on the sign that was broken during the last Rust update. You can also give some of the permission ignore owner. Normally you can only put pictures on your own signs. With this permission, you can just override any picture on any sign. So you probably only want to give this to your admin team. We also have an option to ignore cooldown. Once again, to make sure that people are not constantly spamming your server, I would only give this to admins. There's an option called raw. Up here, we had a option saying JPEG image quality. When a player has the raw permission, it will ignore those quality settings and it will just try to upload the image directly in the highest quality. And lastly, instead of restoring the sign that you're looking at, you can also restore all if there are multiple problems after a Rust update. So I'm going to grant all permissions to the admin group, which I am a part of. Let's quickly set up a sign and test this out. So I got my sign and I'm going to stand close enough where it says paint sign. Let's test the message first. Looking at the chat commands, we can just copy this. So let's paste it in here and let's say Tabex. And there we go. It's automatically put on the sign. And as you probably heard, you heard a Discord message. So let's look at our Discord and see what we have. 
inside of the sign artist channel we can see all the information so we see the generated picture from the text that we used we can see my steam id it says sign has been updated it says a huge wooden sign which is the one we used we also have the exact location i don't have a teleport plugin installed but if you do you can directly teleport to this location and fix the sign if you need to while we're outside of the game let's upload a image and let's get the image url and give that a test as well it doesn't really matter what kind of image hosting you use i'm going to use imgur or imager however you want to pronounce it and then i can just drop my picture in here in my case i'm going to use the tabex logo and then right click and get the image address looking at the chat commands we just have to do slash sil and then the url and optionally we can use the raw attribute slash sil paste the link and there we go and once again we have the discord message same thing picture updated with all the information since i'm the only player on the server and i cannot simulate a rust update it's going to be difficult for me to demonstrate some of the other chat commands what i'll lastly do is go into tabex and show you how you can give someone permission when they make a purchase on your store we have to get the direct command if we want to give someone permission through tabex we first have to add the game server commands deliverable and then we actually have to add our first command then we say when the package is purchased what do we want to happen down in the description i will link to this page and we actually have two options we can either add a user to a group that already has the sign artist permission which i think is the best option we could say oxide.usergroup add then the username of the player and then the group that we want to add the player to i didn't create a group so in this example i will directly give the permission to the player i would once again recommend setting up a group with all the permissions and just simply adding and removing players this makes it a lot easier if you want to add or remove permissions in the future scrolling up it says giving an individual player a permission so let's copy this and let's edit it how we want to let's paste it in here oxide.grant we definitely want to keep that we want to add directly to a user so we'll also keep this but then we need to change the username from wolf to whoever is logged in to the web store and i'm going to use a variable so as soon as i use the opening bracket you can see it says the id variable and this will get the primary id from the player's username and then lastly we have to change the permission because we don't want to give them permission to reload oxide plugins so let's remove that go back to the plugin page and let's do signartist.url i also want to allow text so let's do add comment copy this paste it under here and just change the permission from sign artist url to sign artist text this is how you set up the sign artist plugin configure it connect it to your discord and also how you could give permission through your tabex store hopefully this was helpful if something is unclear or you have questions you can always leave a comment down below as always thank you for watching and good luck with your tabex store